Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's online workshop, um, specifically designed at parents and families using Educa. My name's Alec, and I'm the Customer Success Manager here at Educa, and today I'll be walking you through everything you can do with Educa as a parent or family member. So we'll cover it in three stages. So we'll start with looking at how you can use the mobile app. Then we'll start looking at how you can use the Educa website from your mobile browser. And then finally, we'll pop onto the desktop and show you a few things you can do on there as well. Um, so I'm gonna just pull up my phone here so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'll just, there we go. So you start by just clicking on Educa Touch and that's gonna bring up your main page. Now on Educa Touch for parents, um, the first thing that you will see is your news feed. So this will bring you all the most recent updates um, that have been made to your children's profile. So that could be stories, it could be plans, it could be a whole raft of information um, just based on the latest updates. Dates. And if you click on one of these, so this one here, it will take you through to that story on there. And again, I'll just show you that. Again, another story or post that you can see just there. Now, you won't see this on any other version of Educa. It is only on the mobile um, app that you'll get to see a news feed of your most recent updates. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is how you can look at a child's uh, profile. So if I just take a look and click on profiles in the bottom bar there, you'll see if I just do that and it's turned orange, I have two children set up for this account. So you'll see both children are linked to the one account and they'll be split into their separate room. So we see that we have Eloise in the blue room and we have Elliot in the yellow room. So say for example, I want to look at Eloise, um, I can click on her profile and what that will do, that will bring up all her individual learning stories for you. So on this one here, you can just see, there is here another one that you can see just there. And again, the same is possible for Elliot here. And you can see the story, you can see an enlarged version of the photo, so you can really stay up to date on all of the most recent updates there. Now, if you want to comment on a post, you can go back to the newsfeed and open up the story. So let's look at the butterfly one. And you simply just hit reply in the top corner and you can see the chain of comments um, that have been um, on the top there. So you can see what is currently happening in the conversation and then you can add your comment below by just typing the comment and clicking send in the top corner. And then when you've done that, you will see that it comes down the bottom of the story and you'll see how you get that chain of comments um, with the original comment first and the most recent following below. Now, another cool thing you can do with the Educa app that you can't do with um, Educa on other platforms is by going to a child's profile, you can actually click the lock button in the top corner. Now, what this will do, this will lock certain features on the app so that you can hand your device to your child and they'll be able to take a look at their profile but without the prospect of um, adding any um, anything that they shouldn't or removing anything they shouldn't. So if I click confirm here, you can see all the buttons down at the bottom have grayed out apart from profiles and more. So if I click on Eloise, all I will see here is the story here. I can't reply, I can't comment, I can't do anything such as that. If I want to then go and unlock that, once I've taken that back off the child, I just click the unlock button here and I need to type my password in at that point. I press okay. And then you'll see that the main features down the bottom have now been restored again. Now I'll just cover off the more tab here. So you can see how the um, more tab has options to contact us and get further support. 
So if you are struggling with anything, use any of these links to either contact the support team, read our help articles, or to go onto our main website. You can also log out from this page if you wish to do so. The final thing I'm gonna show you on the app is how to create a parent story. So Educate isn't just for teachers communicating with parents. Parents can also inform educators what's going on at home uh, and how that learning is being continued outside of the classroom. So it's a really great way to just strengthen that learning cycle um, that we're developing here at Educa. So to add a parent story, you just have to click the plus button in the top right corner. And you can add a title here. So let's call this parent story. And then you can pop a message in there as well. So you can add text here. Then if you want to add photos, you can do by just clicking on the orange camera icon. And you will see there's an option to take photos, choose photos, choose videos, or record your voice. Also, when you're writing a story, if you don't want to type or you don't have the, um, the time to, you can just click on the icon in the bottom right-hand corner, the microphone, and that will voice record what you're saying and translate it into text. So I'll just show you how this works. So if you press it and speak clearly, it will notate all of your words. Full stop. And you'll see that that works pretty, pretty accurately, provided you're speaking loud and clearly. So then once you've wrote the story there, you click next. You select the center it's for, just in case you've got multiple children at different centers. And then you select the story. Now at this stage, you can only select one child um, to visit your Educa account, uh, sorry, to write a story for. And so I'm gonna click Eloise and click next. And then you have an option to send an email to a teacher or not. You then click send in the top corner and then that will post your story. Now, when you click send, there's an option to post the story and publish it or post it as a draft. What posting as the draft does, sends your story to your draft stories on the Educa main website where you can continue and edit it later if you want to add some more fonts or any other um, design elements. Now, if I click back here, now if I'm just in a bit of a hurry, have made halfway of my text and want to continue writing on the app, if I just click cancel, I have to a draft or don't save. If I don't save, it will just remove anything I've wrote previously. If I click save draft, what that will do, that will store it then in my drafts folder on my phone. So I can open that and it's back up again there. Now, if you don't save it like this, it won't appear on your phone. So if you click post draft, it's not gonna appear here, it's only going to appear on the website. And you can delete those as well by just sliding to the right, to the left even, and clicking delete. So that is the Educa Touch app for parents in a nutshell. I'm now gonna move on to the web app. Before I do, I'm just gonna pause and see if there's any questions. If you have a question, send that through on the chat and we can have a look at that for you. Okay, so it looks like everyone's pretty comfortable with that. So what I will do now is move on to the um, website on your phone. So if I come out of the Educa app and go into my web browser, um, I have already logged in on this. So you'll first, when you log in, be taken to the message board. Now this is almost like your center board and it allows the center to communicate really important messages or messages just to all the families at the center. Um, so sometimes they might put activities on here, they might put updates on say field trips, for example, they may even put things like vaccination notices on there for you as well. And you'll see just at the top here, you do still have that ability to create a parent story here and you'll see that button dotted around the website for you. Now, if I click on the little hamburger menu here, 
There we go. And click on service. You'll see there's a number of options about the service that you can get from here. So if I click about us firstly, that gives me some really basic information about the center. So it might have a phone number on there, a contact person, or an email address as well. So if you need some contact details, you can get them easily off of Educa. Also, you can go on the services tab to look at any resources that the um, centre posts. So this could be stuff like field trip forms that you'd need to complete. They can just be stored here in a central library, easy to download, print, and send back to the educators. Likewise, centres can update policies. So again, by going on the hamburger menu, service and policies, you can see key policies about that centre. So for example, the lunch policy or the smoke-free policy, uh, and these can be updated and you can just take a look there so that you know how the centre is working to operate. Another thing you can do on the mobile website is click on the hamburger menu and click teachers. Now, when you click teachers, you will see all the teachers at the centre now let's just take this one for example. On here, you will see a photo of the teacher, their name, and maybe a bio about that. Now, not all centers will have this, but some centers will have the bio. And it's a really great way for you to learn just a little bit more about the educator who is looking after your child. So definitely check those out if you're interested in that. Now, the next thing I'm gonna cover is when we go to your children's tab. So if I click children, Again, I will only see my children here. So I can see Eloise and Elliot again. So let's take a look at Eloise's um, page. So if I click on her name. Oh, it's just taking a moment to load here. Let's try again. It might just be that my internet is running a touch slow here. Here we go. So you'll see Eloise's photo. You'll see a list of um, links that you can access. And you will also see um, some general information such as their gender, date of birth and class, families who are linked to them and child notes. And we'll go into those areas in a little more detail when we get to the desktop site. So what I want to show you first is relating to these two orange buttons at the top of your screen first. So let's look at routines. Now routines is a way for educators to record and send parents information um, about their child's daily routine. So that may be any notes on uh, things that they've observed during the day that don't require a full story, but might be a little bit of information they think the parent should know. It may be requests um, that the centre has for you as a parent. It also can be used to record nappy changes, sleep times, and daily feedings. So let's just scroll down here. So we'll see at the top, we have a request um, for Eloise, and it says more nappies needed, and that comes from Aaron at the center. We then have a note here. So if I click read more, it says distressed during playtime. And again, what that allows me to see is that there has been some issues at daycare, uh, and you may want to consider that as you um, bring your child home for the day. Moving down, you see that we have uh, the Apple symbol showing what time they were fed and what they were fed. So in this case, it was um, a liquid and 200 ml um, was provided. You then see nap times here. So we see, say on the 26th of September, there was a 39 minute nap, uh, which was recorded by Cerise. Um, and then I can see a, uh, a toilet change, a nappy change, sorry, where there was a dirty nappy change there. Now, some centers will be using this quite heavily. Some won't be using it so much. It is very much dependent on the child, um, the child's age. Now, you can add entries into this as well. So you could click new entry here. And with that, you can add any of those on there, apart from the request that is specifically from educators to parents. The most common one that parents would use is a note. So let's just show you how to do that. So you'd click on the note icon, which is the chat bubble, and then you simply add the note in there. So it may be that there was um, 
some issues coming to school today. Um, so let's put Eloise was upset this morning and didn't wish to come to play center. And if I click save, that is going to send a notification um, to the educators. Um, and what that's good for is sometimes in the hecticness of pick up and drop off, you don't have enough time to convey these really important messages. So you can just drop it in here and that then gets to educators that way. Now, if we go back to Eloise's profile, we'll just take a moment there to load again by the look of it. And let's just click on individual planning at the top. Now in Educa, you can see plans that have been wrote by your, the educators of your child about your child. So if I click on view new plans in the top here, what I can see is any active plans that Eloise has. So say for example, there's a plan to encourage uh, their social activity. You can have a look at that and see what the educators are aiming for in the activities that they're doing with Eloise. This is also a great place for you to get involved and have a better understanding of the teacher's approach. So you can see at the top which teacher has wrote the plan. You can see the child it's linked for. And then you can see the subject of that plan, the description, and then the details of the plan there. You can also see how it's linked to curriculum down at the bottom here. And you can see any stories that have then been linked to it. You also have the ability to comment on that plan. So if you have any questions or any feedback about that, you can put it there and that gets straight to educators and is a real nice way uh, for you to communicate with them about your child's learning. So that is about as much as I want to cover off on the website app. So I'm just gonna pause here again and give you an opportunity to ask any questions just while I flip my screen over to my main uh, laptop. So I'll just give you a second if you have any questions, pop them in the chat box and I'm more than happy to help you with that. And here we go. We'll see the main now. Um, so with this, again, you have that message board is the first place that you come to. You can see on the main website, we do have a pop-out bar, this gray slash black bar. And with that, you can see your notifications that you have. So you can see there's new stories. You can mark certain ones as red. You can even go and delete them as well if you've already seen them. You can also then click on your children from here. So if I want to go straight to Eloise's profile, I don't need to go through the children's tab. I can just click right here. Now, when you click on this here, it will take you to their story list. So what you can see here is all the stories. And we looked at this on the app and it looks a bit different because now you have a different font, a slightly different layout. And again, you can see how comments are also able to be altered to reflect the layout. Um, now I'm going to show you how you can edit um, a child's profile on Educare. So if I click on their photo here, that is going to take me to their main page. So here what you can see is an edit profile button in the top corner. Now not all centers will enable parents to edit their profile. So you may not have this function, but if you do, you can click edit profile and you can then come edit their name, their gender, and their date of birth in case there's been any mistakes um, made in the upload process. Scrolling down, you can see family information. If I wanted to invite another family member, so you can invite grandparents, aunties, and uncles, anyone you're comfortable with sharing that information with, you can click invite families, provide us with their details, and if you click invite, that will send them an automatic um, invitation to join Educare. And you can see here as well how you can select a language um, that is relevant to them. And I'll show you again slightly later how you can do that. Down the bottom here, you'll see child notes. Um, 
Now, this is a way for parents and educators to communicate relatively privately. So educators can send a note to you, you can send a note to them, and what it does, it just lets, again, you have a bit more insight on what's going on and also the educator. So an example we have here is that the educator has noticed that the child is pretty sleepy and they're trying to ask if there's anything they can do to assist um, with that routine. And then we can see that the parent, Alex, in this case, has responded, asking the educator to respond accordingly. So to add one of these notes, you just click Open Notes. And it's simply a text box and you add the note. And the most recent entry appears at the top. Now, another thing that you can do, so if you just click on here, we have an About Me page on Educate. So if I click About Me, what you can see is there are questions that can be set by your centre. And this helps the centre have a good idea about who um, each child is and what they like. So here you can see there's questions about favorite toys, activities they enjoy, things they don't like, and you as a parent can come in and edit this and update it with relevant information that you know about your child that you wish to share with the educators. So you just click Edit About Me in the top corner. And again, it's a number of text boxes where you can edit them and you can provide that information to help the educators um, manage the child and look after the child, providing them with the best possible care. Now, the final thing I'm going to show you is how you can adjust your personal settings. So if you just click on your name in the top right corner, you can firstly see account settings. So if I click account settings, you can alter your name, your email address, you can change your password, and you can select the best language for you. Now, this will translate the educa main parts. So for example, stuff like my account, edit profile, and this little blurb, it won't automatically translate stories that have been added by educators. But you can switch the site into English, um, Tureo Moldi, um, Mandarin, Spanish, and Arabic. And you just click Save to update any of those changes. Ooh. Now, again, if I go back, I can click Email Settings. And at this point, you can decide what email notifications you wish to receive. So you can see there's a number of different options and you can select or deselect them uh, according to what you feel um, would be most appropriate for you. So that is pretty much everything I have to share with you today. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with us using this help icon in the bottom right corner. So if you click here, what you can do, you can actually ask us a question via the help center and that is then gonna bring up some articles that you may wish to view. You can also start a conversation with us um, and what that will do, that will send your request through to our support team and we'll review that and look into how we can help with that. You can also reach that help um, article page by clicking help in the corner and you're gonna see that there's a number of different articles available for you. So thank you so much again for attending today or watching from the comfort of your home. We really hope that this has helped you get a good idea of what you can do with Educa. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with us as we would be more than happy to help you out with that. So from myself, I'm gonna say goodbye and enjoy the rest of your day, everyone.